Hey guys, welcome to Random Fix. In today's video, we're going to be checking out the Max Link ML301 and we're going to test this out to make sure this does what it says it can do, which is to retrieve check engine light codes and erase the code successfully without any errors and simplicity. So let's go ahead and show you guys how to use this. These scan tools here are very inexpensive. This one over here costs less than $20. I'll have a link to this particular scan tool in the description box below. And all you gotta do is go on to your vehicle, open up the driver's side door. If you're here in North America, and the best part about it is you can't get it wrong. So it only goes in one way. When you plug it in, you'll have power. Now I'm going to show you what to do next. Just to show you guys, I have a check engine light on this vehicle. And on these newer vehicles, when the check engine light turns on, all these other beautiful lights turn on. We know this as a Christmas tree. So if you're having a Christmas tree situation, you probably may even have a simple check engine light, which is causing all of these to go off. So my lane departure assistant doesn't work. My parking brake is having a malfunction. My active cruise isn't working. Traction control isn't working. So this whole thing is a mess. So let's go ahead and show you how you're going to be able to use this simple $20 tool now to diagnose and reset this in case you're just having a simple fluke. So the most important thing when you're racing a check engine light is you want to make sure that the vehicle is not running. However, that the check engine light is on. So if you have a push button vehicle like this, you wanna keep your foot off the brake. If you have a vehicle with a key, you wanna turn it to the last position before the engine actually cranks. And once that's done, your vehicle is gonna be able to communicate to this. So we're gonna go ahead and show you how to use this now. So if I hit enter here, what it's gonna do, it's gonna go and read the DTCs or diagnostic trouble codes of the vehicle and on this vehicle I have two pending two fault and these are the codes right here this is a P113 and also a P102 and I can go in here and definitely check these out and some of the better scan tools which I'll have a few links below I actually tell you what these codes are for so on this particular one, it comes with a cool CD that you put in your computer and it tells you what the codes are. So uh, I'm not going to get an active reading on what these codes are on this particular scan tool, but for under 20 bucks, I still give this a thumbs up as long as we can uh, erase the check engine light. With these tools, however, you can actually see if a vehicle is ready for smog by going down to where it says IM. And under IM, the check engine light is on. MIL stands for malfunction light uh, uh, illumination, I believe, or check engine light. Misfire is ready. Fuel system is not ready. The CCM is ready. The catalyst monitor is not ready. EVAP is not ready. So anything that's not ready, other than the EVAP currently, is going to basically cause you not to pass the check engine light. And these scan tools work on any vehicle 1996 and newer. So definitely covers a lot of vehicles here. And to get out of here, we can just go ahead and hit enter. We're able to also check for the vinegar on the vehicle. So if you're concerned that you're getting a vehicle with a replaced computer, you could always check what the vinegar is. And then the last thing we can do is we could do a rescan. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to erase the check engine light and now we're just going to go ahead and say yes and check this out now that the check engine light has been erased and look the vehicle started check engine lights gone and just wait a couple of seconds you'll see what happens here and also those lights are gone the lane departure assist is still having a malfunction so if this happens to you just go ahead and turn the vehicle off turn it on now everything is working as designed so 
definitely really cool tool and something you want to have in the vehicle this is definitely gets a thumbs up from me if you guys are new to these particular OBD2 readers or scan tools this is almost the exact replica of a another Autel uh, product called a MS300 I'm gonna have a link to this and that one in the description box below the menu system is identical so let me know you guys thoughts uh, if you guys are new to the channel make sure you guys hit that subscribe button smash on that notification button as well so anytime I post videos are aimed to save you time and money that you guys will get notified have a fantastic day